This is Sandy and Cindy Day at Muleshoe High School in the library because both Cindy Magby and Sandy Chitwood are retiring from the Muleshoe ISD. Sandy, how many years have you taught? I've taught 33 years here in Muleshoe. And only in Muleshoe? Yes, only in Muleshoe. And so uh, what year was that that you started? 1982. 1982, and you were just a child, weren't you? Uh, newborn. <laughs> <laughs> now, Cindy, uh, you work in what department? In the technology. And who do you work with? Um, Eric Craig, Frank Riccio, and Susan Hinojosa. And how long have you been working for the Milshoe Schools? 24. 24 years, yes. and you were just a baby, too. <laughs> yes, right? ma'am. And uh, now, Sandy, who are you married to? Dick Chitwood. And uh, how many children do you all have? We have two children, Doug, who is going to be 42, I think, and Kristen, and she's 40 and lives in uh, North Richland Hills. And uh, now, what do they do? Kristen is, her job is um, Director of Quality Control at uh, Harris Methodist Hospital. And her husband, Hal, is a graphic designer, and he they both live there. She has two children, Zach and Evan, and they are kindergarten and first grade. Oh, my goodness. How wonderful. And you've got another granddaughter. Yes, Miss Haley Sage Chitwood. This is Doug's daughter, and she lives in Sonora, Texas. And we get down to see her as much as we can, and Zach and Evan. And how old is she now? Sixteen. <laughs> and now tell me about your family, your husband. Rich Magby. And how many children and grandchildren and uh, all about your family? I have four children, uh, Courtney Magby, and she lives in Lubbock, and she's going back to school to be a nurse. And um, Kayla Nichols, they live here in Milshoe, and she's married to uh, Chad Nichols, and they have the Milshoe P and Bean and uh, CK Nichols here, and they have um, four children, and um, then I have uh, Cole Magby and his wife Cassie, and they live in Big Springs, and they have two children, and then I have uh, uh, Kristen Magby, and she lives in Lubbock, and she has four children, so I have thirteen grandchildren in total. <laughs> uh, that puts you in the light, doesn't it? Oh, gosh. Yes, I have three. <laughs> Thirteen and three. Now let's see if we can top that. Sandy, uh, can you remember the first day you ever taught here in Milshoe? Uh-oh. No, my first day I was at high school art. Uh, I was uh, Elizabeth Black was my mentor. And... It was overwhelming, actually, what we had to do. But I loved it. I loved the art, and I loved the kids, because you could interact with the kids. It wasn't like you have to st be still and quiet and listen to every word I say. And uh, now you taught at Watson Junior High for a long time. 23 years. And so um, at Junior High, what did you teach? I taught eighth grade science. And uh, about every other year, I would teach an art class. I had a double major, geology and art, and then I got my master's in, in uh, science. Mm -hmm. And so now, you went to some wonderful workshops in the science area. What were some of them? One was I took uh, mountain meteorology at Greeley, Colorado, up in the mountains. Uh, I went to a coal mine at uh, Alcoa, and it was at Rockdale. I did, um, when I got my master's, my last seven hours were on an archaeological dig at the Lubbock Lake Landmark. I've been on a dinosaur dig. So it's all been fun stuff that you could go and do and actually see and get your hands in it. And were these during the summers? Uh, some were in some the summer, yes. Uh -huh. Well, now, uh, tell me about uh, what have been your responsibilities in the technology department for the Milshoe schools. Is that for the entire school system or just the high school? No, ma'am, it's for the whole district. Um, I, I work secretarial work, and then I also do the um, technology 
taking apart computers, putting them back together, setting them up, and we go set them up for the the teachers. Um, we troubleshoot um, if a teacher calls and has trouble with their computer. We go work on it. Um, we um, set up. Um, their whole computer, uh, swap them out, um, just just about anything with computers, printers, um, projectors, document cameras, just about anything to do with computers here. And now, what about in uh, the Milshu schools? Do they have the computers and use them in the Dillman through high school age or not? Yes, ma'am, they do, and they also have iPads that everyone uses. And in all of the schools? Yes, ma'am, they really? do. How yes, ma'am. Wonderful. Yes, and the, all the kids know how to use the iPads and the computers, and, and they take AR test on them, and, and sometimes the kids are smarter than we are. So <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. Now, what about, uh, do they even have a, an early childhood? Yes, ma'am, they do. Really? Yes, ma'am. Isn't that fantastic? Yes, ma'am, it is. That is just absolutely fantastic. And uh, now, Sandy, have you used uh, the technology uh, learning in your school's uh, work in junior high and high school or just in junior high? Oh, both. Junior high and high school, and I have her on speed dial. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> that's great for trouble yes we use it we use an elmo and i can demonstrate where the whole class can see um they can go take a museum trip we have a set of ipads that we can check out so every student has one and that they can work with the technology is awesome could you go to the Louvre? oh yes oh yes really? yes Oh, that is fantastic. Now, who did the uh, drawing behind us? Well, uh, let's see, it's Belinda here. Uh, there was Jesse Easley, Blanca Ramirez, um, oh, Allegra Mora. I didn't know they were doing this. Oh. They did this for Belinda. And so they're the ones that got, they came and wanted pastels for me. And I said, well, sure, here, take what you want. But I had no idea what they were doing because everyone has been busy making signs asking each other to the prom so we've been busy (laughs) busy with things like very busy with very busy business (laughs) now tell me about your family did you grow up in Milshu? yes ma'am i sure did so you went to Milshu High School? Yes, ma'am. What's the biggest difference that you see in Milshu High School besides the building uh, today and when you were in school? Well, probably the technology because we didn't have – of course, I can remember typing on the typewriter, taking typing class, and, of course, the technology, the computers, and what the kids have nowadays that you know we didn't have back then. So to me, that's the biggest difference. So. Now, is your daddy still living? Uh, yes, ma'am, he is. And, and what is his name, and where does he live? His name is Tommy Hall, and he lives in Earth. And uh, your grandparents even lived here? Yes, ma'am, they did. Who were they? They were um, Dub and Mildred Bartley and uh, um, Helen Hall and uh, Toots Hall. And now tell me uh, about your mother. What was her name? Her name was Barbara Hall, and she just passed away just a few days ago. Uh-huh. I'm yeah. so sorry. Yeah, and um, now, Sandy, tell me where you went to high school. Norman High School in Norman, Oklahoma. And so did you ever go to OU? Oh, yes. I went there three years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. My dad played football for the University of Oklahoma, and I was born and raised as a Sooner. And uh, it was never a question where I was going to school. It was always... When you graduate, you're going to OU. Uh-huh. And so tell me his name, and I know he is deceased, but also your mother's name. Uh, my dad is Bob Bush, and my mom is Christine Bush. And she still lives in Norman? Yes, yes. She was, uh, my grandparents lived in Norman, mm-hmm. and she met my uh, dad. He was stationed outside of Norman, and that's when they met uh-huh. at that time when she was so in high school. you were actually born and reared in Norman. Yes, yes. And so how did you get to Milshu? Well, actually, um, 
I had been in Norman my whole life, went to school there, and I had some good friends that went to Texas Tech, and I was an Alpha Phi, and there was an Alpha Phi chapter there. So I thought, huh? You know, grass always looks greener on the other side. And it was. And it was. Well, it wasn't really. I thought Norman was flat, but till I came out here. So I transferred to Tech, and it was going to take me an extra semester to graduate. And I met my husband, Dick, on December 11th. And New Year's Eve, he asked me to marry him. But that was back during the Vietnam War. And he was getting his master's at Texas Tech. And we got married in June. And then off we went. <laughs> and so where was your first home? Uh, well, we lived in Muleshoe for about six weeks. And then we went or transferred to Fort Lee, Virginia, and moved out there for a year. And then he was sent overseas. And so did you go back to Norman or Muleshoe or where? I went to Norman. You went to Norman. Mm-hmm. And your in-laws were who? Dee and Eileen Chitwood. They're both deceased. They lived out in the country, uh-huh. out, out of Muleshoe. And, of course, the Chitwoods were real pioneers of Muleshoe in this area. Yes. Their, Dick's family came in 1927. 1927. Can you top that? <laughs> no, ma'am, I don't think so. Are you sure? <laughs> think back. <laughs> um, I don't know much about my the the halls um i know that they were here um they lived at last buddy for several years but i don't know much about about them and my grandpa bartley came i know on a train from um tennessee is about all i know of him but um, you know what year or anything no ma'am i don't but it was a long time ago yes ma'am it was a long time ago now some of your students have just done outstanding things and we appreciate so much you letting us uh cheer them on i guess you might say through the mule train and sharing pictures galore thank you so much sandy now tell me uh some of the accomplishments that you have seen year after year your uh, students uh, achieve oh they have done amazing things uh, especially the ones that are getting into art two art three or art four they're the ones that really like the art and I try to give them the opportunity to do a big variety of th- different things such as pastel watercolor oil paint um, jewelry so they can find, when they get into Art 3 and 4, find their niche and what they like to do. And then we try to develop that. Mm-hmm. But they, I just have some amazing students. And you keep on uh, entering them in so many contests every year. Uh, what are some of the contests that they have excelled in? Um, we've been picked every year to be in the superintendent school board. Uh, they have a an exhibit in Austin in the fall and I have to I send work in for that um, we do a, one at the capital state capital our school size is small enough we can only send one entry and it's been accepted uh, Adrian Precures was in September and they hung it at the capital they hung it at the Texas Education Agency and we didn't get it back until a couple of weeks ago really? yes they really like that uh, we do uh, what's we call uil and it is in friendship at the in february and we had about 27 gold medals presented and then they take all the judges put all the gold medals for each division there's art one two three and four and then they'll pick like five percent of the gold medal winners and they're sent to the state level and last year and this year we had a student go to the state level in us yes it was it's awesome yes, that is wonderful now do you know who will be teaching art next year at milshu high school i believe it'll be Alyssa lopez Alyssa lopez mm-hmm. huh. she's working at k and k pharmacy right now uh-huh. and i taught her eighth grade science oh, and yeah. she is a wonderful person yeah. and it'll be i think she'll be really really good with our kids well, She'll also send us all the good news that her art students uh, achieve. Eastern is also a big supporter, Mm -hmm. New Mexico, and they have sent out invitations to a 200-mile radius, and we can enter one per student. And then they have an exhibit with judges, and they pick so many 
to be in this exhibit, and we had four that were picked this last year. And they had one other exhibit. It was called Sidewalk Art, and the uh, by then I'm worn out. So I told them, I'll meet you over there if you want to go. Well, we had six students that went. Really? Yes, on their own. It was windy, and I got there, and they Eastern furnishes the chalk. Uh-huh. Oh, it's pastel. And they furnish food for them and snacks. And we took, there were probably about 50 students there. Part of them were college, and the rest were um High school students. Down. Down. Yeah. And they started calling out names. Jennifer Givens went with me. We got first, second, third, and honorable mention. And we're just, I'm standing there going, you have got to be. That was in that sidewalk chalk. Yes. Yes. It was awesome. And they were excited and their parents had gone. Going out with a bang. Yeah. I'm going out with a bang. (laughs) Now, do you know who will uh, take your place? In no, you no, know. not yet. No, not yet. Well, I'm sure it will be someone competent, but maybe not as competent <laughs> as you are. And uh, we thank Cindy Chitwood and also Cindy Magby for giving us time to interview them, and we wish you both happy, happy trails ahead.